Welcome back guys to our number series of the mysteries of the numbers. Today, let's discuss the number five. So number five is very uh, adventurous. It's the number of Mercury, okay? Very good on Wednesdays. Um, lucky color would be green for them. Um, for those with the base number five or those born on the fifth, 14th, 23rd, they have a very um, energetic mind, let's say. They also see themselves as being quite adventurous, quite uh, energetic, quick, witty. They can be very talkative. Um, they have a lot of thoughts that surface to their mind, which, what, which is what makes them kind of talkative, but also makes them lose concentration easily, right? They're interested in a lot of things. That's why they're so quick, but that quickness is like a fire that burns very quickly. And they're very, let's say, easily shaped by the people around them, okay? So they're very influenceable. Um, if you study astrology, you know that whatever planet that Mercury is placed with, it will become like that planet. So Mercury is a neutral planet, but if it's put with negative planets it'll become negative if positive they'll become positive right so same with these people if they're around such uh negative people they will turn into those people they'll become like their friends if they're positive they'll become positive right but they can have really lots of friends because they are excellent marketers very energetic very quick You'll, these are people that talk extremely quickly they just talk and talk and talk and they know how to keep it going and keep the flow going um because they're so energized and so ready to just express everything they need to know, they need to, ex to talk about. And it makes them very um, profit-oriented though, right? They know what they're going to gain out of the specific uh, situation, right? They know going into it, oh, this person is good for me because I do this or they do this for me and I grow from this in this way. Right? So in that sense, they can be kind of um, manipulative uh, to their own advantage, right? They will use people. Um, so they can be interested in money. It can be all about money for them. Like I said, profit-oriented. What can they gain out of this situation? And they can be excellent business people because they're such great uh, marketers, such great communicators when it comes to the details. Okay, this, we need to do like this and this, and that's how we make the most money out of this. That's how we get the most gain, right? It's very emotionless when it comes to um, business, especially, right? They are the tough negotiators. They will know exactly what they need and they will, they will do what they need to get it. Um, excellent communicators, like I said, their speech, um, very quick, uh, concise to the point. Uh, they can also bring a lot of fluff if they need to though, um, because they know, like I said, how to sell something they know how to make it appealing to you and market it so if you need someone in your life um, to market something for you I would say get a life path five because these people are naturally drawn to them whereas a base five will be interested in something like that and they can definitely learn it if they apply themselves but going back to the base five these people do see themselves as very good with money Right, they do see themselves as all about money, wanting to make more money. How do I get more cash? Money's on the, always on their mind. Um, they can also have a very youthful, energetic energy, like I mentioned. So they will try to appear more youthful. They will be wearing the makeup. They will, you know, getting the nose job, the Botox, whatever it is to help them feel that youthfulness again. Right? They like to be outside. They like to be... Um, uh, exploring it's actually very recommended that they do that because sitting inside all day can really bring down their soul bring down their sense of self they won't feel like they're connected anymore if they're not exploring adventuring um, they have lots of energy in that regard so they need, it needs to be used and in order for them to deal with that concentration issue as well they need to be using the energy and it helps for them to focus the energy in something that they do with their hands Usually the, these people can be very good artists as well. They can be very good drawers because you're doing it with your hand. It could be into typing a lot, working on the computer, something with design even specifically around the computer like virtual design um, or even just data entry, just typing all day on the computer. 
can be good for them because it helps them focus. They're, they're now concentrated on that specific task and using their hands brings them back into their state of being. Whereas if they're always in their mind, they're gonna be thinking money, 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 or how do I do this? Or what do I do next? Or, you know, they have lots of various interests really, but um, this like adventure, money, exploration, adrenaline dynamic is what they're really into, right? But they can have lots of interests that they just, you know, learn a little bit about and then their concentration fizzles and then they move on to the next thing and they learn a little bit about that and they move on to the next thing, right? So in a sense, they're kind of like the jack of all trades, but they're, they're still missing the extra energy uh, from uh, two other planets that needs to be involved there. But um, they can also be very, they could have very good genes, I've noticed, especially for life path fives, uh, for bodybuilding, for fitness, right? They're so energized and ready to use their bodies that their body naturally has the genes and it grows uh, easier and develops muscle easier. Whereas for me, you know, like a life path seven, I'm, uh, the K2 aspect is there. Usually you'll see these life path sevens as skinnier. They're, they're more withdrawn. They're not the biggest eaters. They don't think they need that much food, right? They're, they prefer to be doing other things rather than eating. Um, so usually life path sevens are kind of born with the karma of being skinnier for some reason. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's the base five. And then, like I said, the life path five, it will bring... They're easy, they will easily attract money, easily. It's for them, it's, it's easy if they just apply themselves, right? Especially later on in life, if they're gonna go into something business related more than likely, they're gonna be like, oh, business is for me, you know, I, this is just what attracts me, I'm good with numbers. Um, I see the profit in every situation. And that's, they will go along being something along that, along that along those lines, marketing even, something, you know, that uh, really, piques their interest in that regard where there are lots uh, around lots of people that they can move on from person to person and communicate and get all these other, other ideas from them or market all the other ideas you know uh, really put it out there for other people to know that hey uh, they have a business or hey they're doing this right so they are very likely to start a business for themselves whether they keep it or not that would be difficult because like I said um, they need other numbers in their chart for that uh, because if their concentration fizzles out and they lose focus they're not gonna necessarily be the best business people because businesses can take hard work they take discipline they take that Saturn energy to really um, be better with it and um, that's why those people with Saturn energy are more likely to be great businessmen because they learn those lessons um, so for a life path five, I would say, for a life path five and a base five, the lesson here, the karmic lesson for these people is to really find peace and not um, manipulate people, only, you know, helping people if they can get a gain out of that, right? Right, so find peace where they're at um, because they seek to make everything very comfortable and have the most of everything and have enough money to be comfortable where they're at have enough of that wealth in some way have enough people to market to or have the whole business or whatever they're seeking but they it's kind of like the rockwell energy it's very well whereas the rockwell just wants more and more the the mercurial energy seeks to be very comfortable very uh set in stone in what what they're they're accomplishing so that it's you know there and it's always reliable but they find peace in the discomfort, peace in the challenges, uh, rather excitement even, then they are more likely to overcome the lessons of this, of this number. And like I said, to help people even when there is no potential gain for them, right? Even though they clearly see that, hey, um, this person more than likely is not going to repay me back for any of the work that I've done to help them, but I'm going to help them simply out of the uh, kindness of my heart and that's why they have the heart chakra there it's kind of fortunate for them it helps them with that regard as well uh, because they have the green the green matching the heart chakra for them uh, being their lucky lucky color um, so if they can learn that they can really uh, move past all these lessons and enjoy the benefits of 
their uh, number, right? Um, and I was gonna make another point, I think, regarding uh, their adventures. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the number five, the Mercurial. Oh yeah, it can be very, very interested into um, both base five and like pet five. They can be very interested into like the occult as well. Um, having this combination matched with the spiritual side of K2 will really help express the K2 side so they can be interested into the occult because of it but they're more than likely to help that K2 side express it help the spirituality come out and really woo, really put to and put into perspective for other people what they've been learning and what they've been discovering right and really dive deeper into that uh undiscovered side of uh of uh of spirituality or the occult especially if you have like mercury in astrology in your eighth house these are all interconnected um the eighth house is the house of digging deep into things especially the occult and uncovering right so they can make very good researchers and can be very interested in such things so presenting such things to these people will um will pique their interest will get them to come to you because now all of a sudden they see you have information to offer them and that's exciting right so that's why the sevens and the fives can really get along quite well uh, in terms of friendships because they will balance each other out the seven the five will bring out the seven out of its loneliness out of its uh, more introspective side and let the seven adventure more right will show the real world more whereas the seven will teach the underlying mysteries that it so yearns to discover to help itself grow more and you know if like for example if the five learns that deep psychology behind marketing whereas just these marketing techniques all of a sudden the five is like wow yeah that's definitely gonna help me in terms of selling many more things and making much more money and this like that right so just to be, be careful in that sense when it comes to taking advantage of the seven and or the information and using it in a negative sense rather just for the sake of you know helping yourself and others but not just yourself right <laughs> all right so if you guys want to find out more about your own chart check out www.decodingthemessage.com where i do numerology and astrology reports uh with my wife she does intuitive guidance from your guides your own spiritual guides and we combine it all with the numerology and astrology so you get one beautiful uh harmonious pdf plus a zoom session with us if you so desire so check that out www.decodingthemessage.com is where you'll find us hope you guys enjoyed another video of mysteries of the numbers and take care like and subscribe please